We broke the internet. We did. Yeah. We, we broke my bank account. Boom, boom. It's okay, so we broke Did the crew tell you the website's down? Oh, no. What happened? The website's down? The uh, <clears throat> fucking hosting fees were $20,000, and uh, my card got fucked up. Mm -hmm. But they're working on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I need to work out. You know martial arts, right? No. You don't know martial arts? Uh -huh. I know the basics for like punching and stuff, but I don't know. Every time I got a try to learn martial arts, I had an injury. Uh -huh. That month when I signed up, like a concussion or fucked up my shoulder or something like that. Damn. But you know, I was gone. What what martial arts have you tried to learn that you were unable to so, because of concussion? I was about to learn jiu jitsu last uh -huh. summer. Uh -huh. But that was right after two concussions and losing shit in the blood. So when I tried, I was like having seizures. And so I was like, you know what, I'm probably going to not do this. You tried jujitsu and you were having seizures? Yeah, it is for my last concussion. So I had two concussions in one week. That's Why? It. So the first one I got jumped. I got hit behind and then they ran off. That's Why'd it. they do that? Well, we have history together and they like, so he's kind of crazy. He stalked my brother. Like my brother actually moved out of state. Uh-huh. Which is how crazy this guy is. God damn. And he didn't like that I cut him out of my life because we used to be friends. It's like, okay, I'm done with you. Yeah. And then the second time, there was a group of uh, Hispanic white cross Mexicans. Hispanic? Yeah. And I was swimming in the river with my friend. Yeah. And then they saw I had a black eye. And then they saw my friend had expensive shoes. So they tried to steal his shoes and then uh, they broke my nose. And then Jesus. And then breaking my nose. I bled for like 10 hours out of my nose uh -huh. and the doctor sent me home and I had to go back and I lost, when I went back the second time I lost someone, so much blood I wasn't, able, wasn't even able to stand up because of how weak I was. God damn. So then that set me back like a month for my physical standards. Okay. Like I wasn't even able to walk up two stairs. Damn. How old are you? 24. Okay. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you to uh, hold pads for me. I can hold pads. Okay. I know how to do that. I've watched a four-minute boxing video on YouTube. I think. Nice. You're doing kicks or just punches? Well, we do just punches. But have you heard of pencak salat? Uh huh. It's an Indonesian martial art. It's like the most ancient martial art. Okay. From ancient Sumatra. It's uh. And uh, you know Indonesia is huge. It's this this huge uh, country. There's like two billion, three billion people there. Yeah. But uh, they don't have uh, the same like media that we do. They don't. Yeah. They don't have kung fu movies. They don't have like Hollywood action movies. So. Yeah. Um, so it's not influenced. There's no way. movies about pencaks a lot, but it's like this martial art that's been, you know, honed for ten thousand years basically. And there's uh -huh. three billion people who are who are practitioners and. Uh, it's kind of the shit. It's the best. Okay. It's the best martial art, in my opinion. I'll keep that in mind then. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, what are your thoughts on drunken kung fu? Drunken, well, drunken kung fu is a a shoot off. It's inspired by pencak salat. Oh, really? There's there's a, there's a form of pencak salat that basically imitates the same thing. Okay. It's not it's not drunken. It's um. Hallucinogenic. Okay. So like ayahuasca, that type of shit. Yeah. Um, but it's the it's the same thing, and that's what the Chinese uh, picked up when they uh, tried to invade Indonesia, but failed. Okay. Um, <coughs> which is kind of crazy, also. Fuck me. Uh, I used to think drunken kung fu was the best one, but if you say that was why from that. Drunken, drunken kung fu is good. Yeah. Yeah. It, it but, works. 
a drug can come through as a wife from another one, the other one's probably better than. Yeah, well, I admit, you know, you're talking to a Pencax a lot practitioner, so yeah. I'm of the opinion that it is the best, but obviously, you know, your mileage may vary. I don't, I don't That's know true. who, uh, it depends, you know, it depends on who you listen to. Yeah, I guess. Um, How long have you been doing martial arts for? Since I, well, since I was a kid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I was doing, I did the basic sort of karate, taekwondo thing that everybody okay. did as a kid, and then my, uh, my sensei, um, Master Joe Badini, he was like, you're so good, we have to send you to fucking um, Kukiwon, which is the Korean, it's like the, it's like the Korean capital of Taekwondo, yeah. and I don't know if you've ever seen it or looked at anything about North or uh, South Korea, but they're, they're basically psychopaths over at Taekwondo, like they're obsessed with it, like okay. their whole, like half the nation is doing Taekwondo. Half the day. It's, yeah, half, <laughs> half the day, like literally. Like you go, to, you go to work and you have to do Taekwondo. They, they take it, it's, you know, anything they in America. They take it seriously. Yeah, anything in America, like like NFL, whatever you think is big in America, Taekwondo is 10 times yeah. that size in South, in South Korea. Probably North Korea too. But, um, so I went to Kukiwon. I got my 10th uh, Dan black belt in Taekwondo. And uh, from there, I was just like, where do I... Where do I go from here? And I started just researching independently. I went all around Southeast Asia, China. Oh, so you learned this in Asia specifically? What's that? You learned your most of your techniques in Asia? Yeah, I mean, I, I went I went around for ten years trying to figure out what was the uh, the best okay. thing, and I ended up in Indonesia. And I by that time I had won like close close to a hundred sparring matches and fights. Oh um, shit. Oh, that's and awesome. I went to Indonesia and I got my ass kicked by this five foot three, like little brown dude who yeah. was like chain smoking cigarettes. And I was like, "What the fuck? Yeah, is this guy doing right now?" I love people who teach like, me this. I, yeah. and I was just like, I'll drop, I'll, "Right now, I will drop everything if you teach me this." And he, I had to do like, I had to like, you know, ride. Uh, Carry a donkey cart around town and do all these like bitch work chores for this for this guy. I had to go get him boxes of cigarettes. Uh -huh. uh, I had to, I had to steal a crate of cigarettes from the naval base. <laughs> Shit. Know, how many were you, how many packs a day? Two or one? Who me? No the, him. The kids smoke two packs a day there. <laughs> the, the adults are the adults are on uh, boxes. <laughs> so anyway, um, but yeah, I went there and. Picked up uh, Pentax a lot and been doing that for about seven years. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I thought like a lot of people who practice like martial arts in the states and then they go to like some you know like a Shaolin temple or something like yeah. that and they try it, they get the ass kicked. Oh, for sure, person. for sure. Those the the thing is like because like they train all day, every day. For people in the yeah. states, they train like an hour. Yeah, maybe and two. A, yeah. Professional fighter, two hours a day. Yeah. Try try eight hours a day. Is that I tell people all the time like, with MMA. Like, there are guys in a temple in Shaolin right now who would like come to the UFC and wipe the floor with yeah. these guys. Just, just but they just, they, they don't because they would be, first of all, it would be like a, you know, they would kill somebody. Probably, yeah. Um, second of all, it would, uh, you know, they're not, they're not going to fight for money. These, pe yeah. these people who dedicate themselves to martial arts, they don't fight for money. Yeah. Um, can you lace these up? Actually, let me get this other one on first. <clears throat> when you say lace them up, what do you mean by that? Because I've never seen these kind of gloves before. You've never seen this type of gloves before? Um, I've just seen the... These are, well, these are Pancax a lot specific gloves. Okay. Um, they're made by a company called Winning. Okay. They're, uh, Winning is a, um, a Pakistani company. Yeah. And these are good because they're really cheap. Because I bust through these. I'll, I'll go through pairs of gloves like you know, one a week. So I have, to, I have to get new gloves all the time. Okay. So these winning gloves are really cheap. Oh, so this is going to break my arm punching. No, 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 no. <laughs> no it's very safe. Don't okay. worry. Am I wearing a watch? What the f... <clears throat> okay. So on this one, you know how you tighten shoes? Yeah. Tighten them up starting closer to my hand. So close okay. to the chain there. How you doing, Daniel? Hey, what's going on? Website's uh, down, by the way. Oh shit! Yeah, so I need—I just am here to work out, and I'm also not doing my stupid little character thing. 
which thank you guys for putting up with, by the way. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm just trying to make uh, the, pe- title. the people the people hiring uh, paid me for this. I'm trying to just do a good... Uh, Stop typing up. Let's type up, yeah. Mm. Okay. You guys are going to fight. Stop typing up. Let's type up. Cool. Uh, the website's down, so I'm working out. Oh, okay. And the crew is sleeping downstairs. Okay. <clears throat> What's that? You and John are going to like train here. Yeah, I'm going to teach John Pencax a lot. Okay. All right. So, when you hold these here pads, you hold them kind of close to your face. Yeah. Don't get hit in the face, though, okay? Yeah. And hold them a little bit farther away from your head. And if you hold it out like this, it's going to blow out your rotator cuff. You're going to get hurt if you hold it out. Oh, yeah. So, you just hold them in, kind of. And when it comes in, you give positive pressure down. Yeah. That's to protect your shoulder also. Boom. Like that, okay? And I'm just going to go... I'm gonna go light and just get some heat in my shoulders. Joseph, do you have a phone? Uh, are you moving? Where's the phone here? We can't. Wait, what do you mean? You don't have a phone. Can someone run a timer? We got a timer upstairs. I know you guys have, have secret phones. This, the website's not running. Who has a phone that can run a timer? I don't have a phone. Like, yeah, you can go through my bag. John, where's your phone? I don't have a phone. <laughs> All right. I don't want to get kicked out. Joseph, you look counting? Uh, yeah. Okay, count to 180. Okay. Jason. All right. It was a, you know what? Don't be enthusiastic. The website's down. You don't have to act enthusiastic. I'm just working out. The crew is sleeping downstairs. So that's the jab. And then on the cross, I'm going to go. Like that. So I'll do one twos now. So the one is a jab. The two is a cross. So that's the, that's the pattern. So you know what to expect. Okay? One. 